Hi guys, guess where I am? Camping, obviously, but I am in the United States! Yay! I made it, I crossed the border, they finally let us in. So we're about to try to cross the border again, a month later, and uh, should have all our paperwork ready. <clears throat> so let's see I'm kind of nervous because last time was a bit of a disaster here we go where are you going? Uh, Pennsylvania thank you Apparently not. Really? Well. He didn't say anything, right? No. High five. <laughs> we are in Pennsylvania. We are at Pocono Mountains. I think that's how you pronounce it. And very, very soon I am going to be meeting someone very special and i'm not gonna tell you who you'll find out very soon but we drove six hours but the trip was more like 10 hours because we had to cross the border there was some construction we had to stop to do some shopping put gas that kind of stuff so it was like a 10 hour day journey for us and let me tell you that was not an easy journey because i was so so sick yesterday i was in so much pain but the worst of it i think was my ibs or maybe what could have been the beginning of another anaphylaxis because my stomach was horrible i felt so sick and i was burping a lot and that's usually how my anaphylaxis start so i had to take some gravel i had to take some benadryl and i was just so tired and sleepy and my husband had to do the entire drive by himself but we made it We just arrived. It is 8.30 and it's dark and the reception is closed. They said that they were going to leave the map for us with our assigned campground at the porch. Here is the porch, but we can't really find where the map is. No? No, no idea. Let me see if that is a mailbox that opens. I think she said a mailbox, yeah. Yeah. Nothing in it. We found it. It was taped right on our face. No, it was taped on the chair back. Yeah, but right like... Yeah, but I thought it was just... And it's, I mean, it's just this. So it's like any other paper hanging around there. So. Wow. Uh, Bravo 33. We were thinking we're going to have to just park the van and sleep here because we're like, can't find it. That would be super funny if they came back in the morning to open the office and <laughs> we are parked right in front of the map. 
I actually got a pretty good solid night and woke up feeling so much better. And we've got some big plans for this weekend. So stick along to see because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. Good morning guys. We are on our way to the wa white water rafting. We don't know how rough it's going to be. It's supposed to be the family um, version of it. They have the advanced one and then they have the family one. And that is supposed to be a little bit calmer, more for beginners, which is exactly what I am. I have never been white water rafting before. So I think that, that would be the perfect introduction. The day is beautiful. Check this out. It's still a little bit chilly. It was 15 degrees Celsius this morning when we woke up. I think now it's more like 18, 19, 18. Yeah, yeah it's about 18. And it's supposed to go to 23. I'll put the conversion in Fahrenheit here at the bottom. But it's gonna be a nice warm day, but the waters are probably going to be freezing cold. River water is usually cold. Any water that's moving continuously is cold. And if you get wet because you get splashed, and that is if you don't fall in the water, it might be a little bit chilly. And I don't really like cold water. So hopefully I'm not going to be freezing and I'm going to be able to enjoy it. I hope so. The sun helps. It definitely makes it a lot warmer in the sun. And yeah, it's not gonna be cold in the afternoon. It's gonna be in the mid 20s, early mid 20s. But when you're wet, it's a different story. So let me take you along. All right, we have arrived at Pocono White Waters and we are gonna check in. Are you ready? No. <laughs> we are waiting for our wrap. How is everybody feeling? Good, ready to go. I'm excited. We got a bucket which I was informed is to scoop out water from the raft, not to puke in. But it may come in handy for those reasons too. But yeah, I'm excited. Say hi, Ronan. Hi, Ronan. That's better. You guys want to make sure you're friendly with Ronan. He's going to be the one returning things to your boat that you lost. That means buckets, paddles, just like you said. Right side paddle, right side paddle. Good job, bro. Good job. Right side paddle. Yeah. All right, and we can wait. Paddle's out. Yes, sir. Out of the way. Why are we going to get They're going to be skinny. Maybe. 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 Maybe.
Everybody's stuck. Oh, no, that's Harper. Harper's boat. No, no, Harper's boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Captain. <laughs> we did good. Good job, everybody. Yeah, we did good. Well, now let's make sure it doesn't drift. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Trying to get an eye on the shore. Make sure the boat's still here when we're done. Oh goodness, we're swimming home. <laughs> so we're just going to a little lunch spot. Uh. So this package that we did includes lunch. So halfway through the rafting, we just park our boats and go to a little picnic area. So let's find out what they have for us. So we just finished lunch. We had hot dogs, uh, macaroni and cheese salad. Guys, photobomb, guys, photobomb, guys, photobomb. <laughs> what else did we have? Lemonade. And this is Cree. Woo! Hello, guys. YouTube. We're on YouTube? On YouTube? Yes. Listen, YouTube. last time I was on YouTube famous. It's because boat flipped. <laughs> <laughs> we can, we can. Well, we are having fun, so you have to come out and visit us. We are doing family section today. It is eight miles of class one and two white water with swim spots. And we stop for lunch, we feed you. Uh, if you want more excitement, you gotta come out on a dam release weekend. Ooh. Dam release is 12 miles of class two and three white water through the state park. And that is Pocono white water rafting. Pocono white water, Jim Thorpe, PA. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go, guys. We got part two. Now I think it's a good time to do a little introduction because it's very, very calm waters now. Nobody has to paddle. So in the front of the boat, you know this guy. <laughs> and then here we have Nicole. Hi, Laura Nicole from Heal with Laura Nicole. It's my YouTube channel. You can subscribe there. And then this is my husband, Hello. Steven. And I'm the friend Billy. <laughs> and together, we are the best team! <laughs> Our boat did not get stuck once. Nope. Nobody fell in the water. Ooh. We're doing great and it's a lot of fun. Do you want to talk a little bit about your channel? Um, yeah, so my channel is for anyone who's on a healing journey from autoimmune issues, chronic illness, and they're looking for a new way to live to support their health and their body, mind, and soul. So if that's something that you feel in need of, come on over, check out my channel and subscribe, check out my videos. I make a lot of slow living content, a lot of, you know, just health related content. And yeah, and I think uh, Daniela and I are gonna be collaborating more in the future as well on that channel. I'll leave the link for her channel in the description. And chances are, if you follow me, that you also already follow her because we're sort of in the same kind of area but yeah if you haven't yet make sure to check out the link in her channel big rock here this is awesome Still cold? Yeah, it's still cold. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't changed. Chilling? Oh yeah. Chilling, chilling. 
It's chilly in here too. We'll just keep <laughs> paddling and we'll just pull you. All right, I'll just pull. <laughs> you guys got a hunted kill here. Our captain has given up. Uh, he's exhausted <laughs> dealing with you guys. <laughs> Somebody has taken the lead. <laughs> yeah, there you go, Bill's in place. Filling in. Today we're doing a hike at Bushkill Falls and they have eight waterfalls here, one large one and then, is that it? Eight? Seven smaller ones? We saw the first big one from above but we're doing the trail which is, I don't know, I'll find out how long the trail is but it goes around and it brings you to the bottom of the big fall and then you can see the fall from underneath. It is very pretty, very peaceful lots of trees lots of water and we are having a lot of fun with our little group in the vast digital universe where connections are often measured in clicks and comments lauren and i found a world of understanding on youtube Together on our channels, we shared our journeys with health challenges, narrating stories of struggle, resilience, hope, and recovery. Across hundreds of miles in distance, our shared stories created a bond stronger than any algorithm, a bond of shared pain and understanding. Platforms like YouTube and Instagram have become more than just entertainment. They transformed into lifelines, spaces where tales of battles are shared and heard. But there is an innate longing in every human heart, a desire for genuine connection. You lost. I did that one. Oh, you did that one. He's taking the credit. <laughs> I stole it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Jenga! <laughs> While the digital realm offers comfort and bridges distances, there is an unsaid yearning for a hug, a shared laugh, a comforting presence. Oh He's actually going for it. <laughs> really? Yeah. You gotta do it, cause okay. even better if you fall. <laughs> oh no, no! He's got it, he's got it! <laughs> every heartfelt message Lauren sent, every empathetic comment, while touching, only accentuated this longing to share a real life moment. When the day finally arrived for me to meet Lauren, it was more than just two YouTuber friends coming together. It was a reminder of our shared journey, our collective strength, and the beautiful vulnerability that binds us. Our screens had been a lifeline, but this? This was a heartbeat, a tangible connection amidst the often isolating journey of chronic illness. In the turmoil of life's challenges, connections like this stand out. Not just for their depth, but for their authenticity. As Lauren and I bask in the beauty of our shared moments, it reinforced the belief that true connections are born from shared experiences. But the time has come for us to leave, and every goodbye hides a promise. A promise of reunions, of more shared tales, and endless adventures.